Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Part 89. And it's time for our next race, which could or which may or may not be a very good race. We're going to Michigan for trucks, our next truck race. Linux Spray On 200, so. From the short track to a super speedway, let's go. The NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series makes its annual stop here in Brooklyn, Michigan, as these drivers get ready to compete on the fast, flat, two mile track here at the Michigan International Speedway. EA Sports is proud to bring you live coverage of today's race, the Linex Spray-On Truck Bedliners 200. Look for these Craftsman Truck Series drivers to do battle today as the competition in this series is chock full of young and hungry drivers just looking for an opportunity to make it to the next level. Who will come out on top today? We're about to find out. The most famous words in auto racing are coming up next. All right, so it is time for some more truck racing. I'm starting, where am I starting? I'm starting fourth in the race. So away we go for 25 laps around Michigan in the trucks. We're stuck on the outside here at the start, so I'll probably lose quite a number of spots before I can get back onto, or not at all. All right, I lost one spot before I could get my truck on the bottom. Never mind. Now, one thing I really struggle at with on this track that I remember that was reminded of on qualifying is turn three. I cannot enter turn three to save my life, whether it's here or at California, since those these two tracks are basically the same exact track. So that's going to be my really big struggle point, but everywhere else, I think I'll do pretty well here. As I scream down the front straight, going three wide for the lead, holy shit fucking look out. I may have a very bad corner entry, but corner exit, damn. Just fucking go. Alright. Oh, and a little bit of contact on the exit. Ooh. So, into the lead I go. Now, will I be able to hold on to the lead well or not? Out. We're going to find out, Hitter. Try to get a decent entry into turn one here, maybe. Run a little wide. We're going to bring it down for turn two. Try to carry as much speed as I can. I only did a very, very slight lift off the throttle there. This truck got grip, yo. At least for now. Don't know how much grip it's going to have around, like, lap 12, but... For now, it has quite a lot of grip. There we go, there's me struggling turn three again. The truck is kind of wiggling a little bit here. Good. Still. Oh! I saw some smoke behind me. More contact, someone got sideways. And there's that gap in the field. So that happened quite a ways up the field. Because now we have a two truck breakaway. Then another three truck pack behind us. Alright. So, haven't been able to pull a gap. So I'm suspecting with. Like, once my tires wear out, Brandon will just blow by me and pull the fuck away. Or he'll build a gap on the pit cycle, depending on how our pit stops go. That's another, uh, possibility. Or he could just go around me here, because of my inability to do turn three. At all. Drag race, and he's winning it. I haven't been following NASCAR at all this year, Jabber, so I don't know anything about what Xfinity is doing here at Michigan. Oh, God. Brandon, please. I'm going to have enough problems entering this turn. Don't have to run me all the way to the fucking line. Go. 
Can I reach 200 miles per hour before turn one? Eh, not quite. If I kept drafting Brandon, I would have been able to, but... I decided to be stupid and go for an outside pass for some reason. I'm going to put restrictor plates and air dams on the cars. Huh, interesting. Uh, oh, almost. Barely didn't make it to 200 also. Excuse me, Brandon. Did not mean to uh, do a bump and run there. My bad. Ooh, shit. good. Everything's fine. Speaking of following racing, I need to have some things I need to catch up with after this stream, like Formula One and MotoGP and what else? WRC. And I think there's also a BTCC round, so I got a lot to catch up on, Brandon, please. We can have us a wonderful race, but you don't have to be a blocking asshole, alright? The fuck? It's all the way on the apron. God, he lost a lot of time from that bump. Holy shit. Alright, see you, Dan. Thanks for watching. Get some fucking sleep. Well, that moves Brandon down to uh, third. And now we have our old buddy Travis Quapel here in second. Had a nice race with him a few races ago. Ago. I forget what track it was. Because my memory is fantastic. So Arrow's mad at oh. What happened to compute? Oh, right sides are worn. Okay. Oh, that was too high of an entry into turn three. I fucked it all. Here comes Quapple. Travis, please. Going for it. Yeah. Oh, hey. I didn't even realize people pitted. I've been too enthralled in this uh, battle for the lead to pay attention to what other people have been doing. No, oh, PC won't turn on. Uh oh. Oh, what am I doing? Very bad entry. Holy shit, this is terrible. Terrible. Everything's bad. Fuck. I fucked it. I fucked it hardcore. I have gorgeous cars, but ruined with them with horribly. Uh, honestly, I like the Halo. Like, I know most people hate the Halo, but I like the Halo, f both from functionality and aesthetics. Like, I honestly don't think the Halo looks bad at all. On an F1 car. But that's just my opinion. So, you know, whatever. Also, I've actually really enjoyed the racing in F1 this season. Like, yes, it's not the best racing. Because it's mostly, you know, it's very dependent on tire strategy and DRS, but it's still been entertaining to watch. So, it works for me. Why do you have hood damage, Carl? What did you do? Carl? Jesus, Carl's truck is a little worse for wear here. got hood damage, he's got a bunch of tire marks on his side. Like, damn. Still looks like a wishbone clamped over the cockpit. Hey, wishbones can look cool. <laughs> look at the halo. Alright, I kind of want to go in the pits now because we're halfway, but that's too many people behind me. Carl! It's like Hamilton has a tiny bit of damage as well on his truck. You can see his hood's kind of ever so slightly damaged. Yeah, I need to get off these tires. Like, bad style. So hopefully the share draft with Jake. Holy fuck, that share draft. 
That is very powerful here. No, Bobby, don't. I need to go in the pits. Oh god, sliding. Oh god, bring it down. 70, 70, 70, 70. Damn it. Oh, there goes my race. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't slow it down in time. So that'll probably knock me down to about 20th position at least. I was trying to make the most of it. Try to recover as good as I can here. It's fine. Hello, Mr. Official Guy. Alright. Go. It's not yet indicative of how many spots I lost because there's still a lot of trucks to have pit to pit. I want to keep it on the apron. Do a safe merge, damn it. Safe enough, I guess. All right, let's run the balls out of this truck and try to get as recover as many spots as I can after that penalty. Inside, inside. <coughs> Excuse <coughs> me. Holy fuck! Oh yeah, this game looks fantastic. Like graphics are great. Looks like I'm gonna be about yeah, about twentieth. Looks like. Oh shit! Hi, John. No caution. All right. We're good. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I thought I would be uh, clear of wood there, but I was not. Heck. I don't have to worry about warming up my tires anymore. <laughs> God, this is gonna be awkward. Did Carl pit by himself, damn. He just had to go one lap longer than literally everybody else. Careful. Going up the track for the exit. Oh shit, that's a wall. Can I go three wide? Nope, 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 nope. That was a bad idea. Nacho Libre wouldn't have any of that. Oh, careful with the apron. Oh, careful with the trucks. I'm being way too aggressive right now. Holy crap. Okie dokie. It's time to, uh... Settle down a bit here. Or just royally fuck that up, alright. When bad ideas work, yes. Come on, Chad. Go! You fucker. Why are you going so slow, Chad? What the hell? I was pushing you and everything. Move, move up the track, you fucker. Oh, we were three wide. Okay, that'll explain a lot. Well, I'll explain a bit. Now my thoughts on NASCAR Heater Heat 2. Uh, Heat Evolution, good game. Terrible rubber banding, though. Heat 2, very good game. I like it a lot. Still not as good as, you know, the monster games, the NASCAR Heat games of the past. I still regard Dirt to Daytona as my favorite and also the best NASCAR game, but I still think the latest NASCAR Heat games are very good, or at least good to very good. There's definitely room for improvement, though. Who knows, maybe NASCAR Heat 3 will provide that improvement and turn it into something amazing that will rival Dirt to Daytona. Take it off. 
little lift, throw it to the inside. And a game that doesn't have a create a car function sucks. I mean, no. <laughs> Incorrect. At least that's not a selling point for me. It's more like, oh hey, this is cool. I can I can make my own car. Oh. Or it's, oh, okay, well. Whatever, I'll just, you know, it's fine. It's all about that gameplay, though. Anyways, making my way through, making my way downtown, driving fast, trucks I pass. Oh, crap, hi, how you doing, Dennis? Can you fucking go? Can you, like, get in the zone, my dude? Man, my truck must have ridiculous acceleration compared to these guys. Did NASCAR Heat Games physics feel as good as this game? Uh, honestly, they feel better than this game. Like, yes, this game's physics are really good, but... I don't know. I think Monster Games just has really good physics engine for all their... NASCAR Heat games, both old and new. Anyways, we are back up to the top 15 with two and a half laps to go. So this recovery drive is actually going very well. I mean, it's been very bumpy. Just hitting other trucks and shit, but it's going very well. Might even be able to get a top 10 before this race is over. Excuse me, sir. No touch. Oh, a little bit of understeer because of tire wear. Still getting a good run off, too. Oh, to block a body wash. Two for one special. Lose it all in turn three. Three wide, down the middle, suck my dick. Final lap. Again, don't think I quite reached 200 miles per hour at any point in this race, sadly. Oh my god, oh god, oh god. I want to go on the bottom, but I don't have room. Son of a bitch, let me know. Damn it. Careful, careful, be very careful. Oh, that's why. Alright, whatever, we're, go. we're good, go. Accelerate. Come on. Twelfth uh, place. Woo, ha ha, hee ha, hua hee. Damn. That was an insane fucking finish. Holy damn. Well, another fantastic truck race. <laughs> I should be in four-star vehicles more often. God damn. Huh. So, Travis Kvapel takes the win by eight-tenths of a second over Carl Edwards. I end up in 12th position, just missing out on that top ten. But still, another great end... Another solid finish, considering, you know, I lost those five seconds due to that speeding penalty. So. Got a good result. Okay, we need to watch this fucking highlight. This finish. Look at all these trucks in this pile. Like, holy fuck. Of course, the first highlight is my uh, contact with wood. Oh, good. Sad. The sad scene, because, you know... Oh man, I didn't finish in the top 10, oh man. And fuck you, that was a great race. And fuck you, virtual me. Alright. Well. So, here are the updated point standings. I'm still on top. But now my lead's only 65 over Quapple, who took the win. Edwards is back up to third. Erd. After his DNF a couple races ago. Or ago. So shit's still pretty hot for the truck championship. I might not win. I might win. Who knows? 
Anyways, that'll conclude this segment, so next time, stay tuned for more probably insane racing. Yeah.